Swimoutlet.com delivers the best online shopping experience. With an extensive selection and the lowest prices, you're guaranteed to find the product you need. Here's what you get. Free shipping on all orders over $49. Free one to two day shipping on all orders over $99. All orders placed by 6 p.m. ship out the same day. Shop at Swimoutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. This is the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, May 9th, 2012. I'm your host, Peter Bush, in the Funny Smart Editor today. We'll talk to Nadine Day. She's the new president of United States Master Swimming and a heck of a master swimmer herself. Nadine joins us right now in the Finice Monitor from Danville, Illinois. Hi, Nadine. Welcome to the Morning Swim Show. How are you? Hi. Thank you. I'm doing well. Thank you. Well, congrats on being the new president of U.S. Master Swimming. Every new leader of any organization wants to put their own mark on it. What would you say are some of the things you want to accomplish? Um, right now, I am just learning the ropes. This is my first six months. What I really want to do is hopefully have a clearer model of what people's roles and responsibilities are. We're still transitioning. We used to be a highly volunteer organization. Now we have 10 people that work in our national office. So that transition, we're still in what I call the honeymoon stage, where volunteers and staff are learning to work together. And I'm my is define those roles so there's no confusion and everybody understands their roles and responsibilities what is something about you know what you've done in a previous career or that you still do that has prepared you for this um, I was the vice president prior to becoming the president I had um, oversight over the coaches committee fitness committee and sports medicine and science committee um, I am a licensed physical therapist my husband and I own our own private practice in Danville Illinois um, it's an outpatient sports medicine clinic and before that I was a clinical administrator that ran um, PT and orthopedics over the orthopedics doctors and staff so I have some of that role and administrative capabilities. In addition, I've been on the board of directors now for eight years. So I, but I'm still learning the ropes as a leader and learning to lead the board of directors and move forward with our initiatives and our strategic plan that we just wrote. So not only are you in charge of the master's meets, if somebody gets an injury on the deck, you know, you're talking to them about rehab right then and there? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not in charge of the master's meets. We have l wonderful meet directors and hosts across the nation. Each state, which we call local master swim committee, has events, and they host the events. They're responsible to sanction the events, and the local meet host runs the event. What we do is we provide any marketing material or any instruction or advice if they need it, but other than that, they're the ones that are running the events. They do a great job. We just had our nationals in Greensboro, North Carolina, and that was such a wonderful facility. It was amazing. We had 1,800 swimmers there from 18 years old to 95 years old competing. It was great. Tell us, maybe the last three years, we talked to Rob a lot when he was in charge, you know, the growth that master swimming has seen in the past few years. Well, Rob Butcher is still our executive director. He is in charge of the operations side. I'm the president of USMS, and I run with, um, work with the board of directors and the volunteer side. So Rob's still involved in stuff. But the changes over the last three years, like I said, our staff is growing. We're more professional and business oriented a little bit. We're partnering partnering with um, other national organizations to promote swimming as an adult through fitness and being healthy and swimming through your lifetime. So that's one of the initiatives that we're looking at um, achieving. Our membership grows every year. Um, we're on average 4% to 6%. We're hoping this year will be probably around 8% with the Olympics. We tend to grow a lot uh, more members during the Olympic year and the following year after that. Well, Nadine, we previously mentioned that you're a swimmer yourself, but you had a kind of a bizarre injury that's hampered your training lately. Yes, um, on my way back from convention, I experienced an episode of vertigo and found out that my vestibular cochlear nerve was damaged. So I lost my hearing on my left side. So now I have an implant. I have a hearing implant, and I have ver episodes of vertigo when I get tired 
and um, when I change positions and things like that, such as starting and turning. So it makes swimming a little difficult, but I was able to participate in nationals, so I was very pleased with that. Without so, any issues, were you able to compete? Um, I have issues, but I mean, I'm comfortable in the water enough that I'm safe. If I wasn't safe to be in the water, I wouldn't swim in competitions. But fitness is something, swimming is something that I enjoy and being healthy, so I'll continue to swim. Yeah, so with that pain and your, you know, you don't have to focus on the pain that the rest of your body is feeling during a race, right? Yes, I just have to focus on following that black line because, and plus it concentrate on looking at the black line to swim straight in the lane. Well, Nadine, we hope that um, you continue to swim and break records and do well with United States Master Swimming, and we're really happy we're able to get you on. Thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, that's Nadine Day joining us in the Phoenix Monitor today. And that's it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.